Nós saudamos We greet the church with the peace of the Lord. I invite those who can to stand up. We're going to read the word of the Lord in Matthew. Matthew. Chapter 16. From verse 13, Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 16, from verse 13. Thus says the word of the Lord. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Let us pray. Lord God, we ask a blessing in favor of us, Lord, as we are going to be uh, explaining a word, speak to our hearts as we pray to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The church may be seated. My brethren, a few days ago, the world was celebrating a date. This date that um, affects everyone, even the atheists, even the ones that most distanced from religion, they enter into the spirit of uh, Christmas that the world celebrates. And those, those who are far away from their friends, from their family members, they give a phone call it's, it's because the spirit there, right? Men. And lives off of moments like this. Moments that bring some sort of emotion to his heart or her heart. Brings a feeling to that person. They might even call to their number one enemy <laughs> at that moment. Uh, the moment of that atmosphere, you know, the Christmas spirit there is invading everybody's heart. We are here describing the birth of Jesus, right? That was not registered in history a specific date. However, so it was established, it was a convention was established, and Jesus this Jesus came down from his eternity, but he came down 
with a single purpose, the purpose of saving men. I came to save the ones who had gone astray from the path of the Lord. Because humanity, there the period, interbiblical period, from that goes from Malachi to the Gospel of Matthew. God has gone silenced for about 400 years. If I'm mistaken, God has gone silent. So then, uh, philosophy came up, then the theologians rose up, and there, there was human reason during this period. And God looks down from heaven, and then He calls His Son, because Jesus was already there present. Because when God created the world, God said in the plural, uh, let us make man according to your, our, means, our image and likeness. And so it was there, the, there was already the Trinity, God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So then when God sees all that confusion, many men going distant from the Lord, men uh, coming up with their own concepts and creating ph philosophies and many other things, God said, that's not, that should not happen. Humanity cannot go on that direction. I'm going to send my son my only son. And there, in the book of Isaiah, we read the following. Who am I going to send? And who is going to go on our behalf? And Jesus answered, Here I am. There, from eternity. So then Jesus came, in the form of a man, was born from the womb of a woman, spent his childhood, uh, spent almost his whole childhood in Nazareth. That's why many used to say, is this, is this Jesus, the Nazarene? Because he was born and was raised in Nazareth. And then Jesus grew up there with his parents. He learned a, uh, a profession. He became a carpenter. He was. He learned how to work with wood. And while he was still a youth, he went to Jerusalem for a festivity with his family members and his relatives. And the word says that the feast uh, was over the days of this feast were finished and everyone went back to their houses. A few lived close and others lived far away from their towns. But Jesus, he remained. He was more or less 12 years of age. And Jesus remained there in Jerusalem alone. While his parents and his relatives, they all, they all went back home, as it was their tradition. And then, when they had already walked for a long while, distancing more and more from Jerusalem, Mary turns uh, to Joseph and says, Hey, wait a minute, there is something weird here. And he asks, What is this? Don't are you not missing Jesus? And he answered, Yes, you're right. 
Where is Jesus? And there was sort of a little panic there. So they all said, we're going to go back to Jerusalem. Look for him. But we are very far away. It's, it's better just... No, let's, let's all go back. So then when they arrived there, Jesus... Where was Jesus? Where Jesus was? Where? He was in the temple. Yeah, they found Jesus in the temple. What a great joy. What a blessing. Look, our son is here. Our son that was not present with us, he was not present with us on our walk. Here, here he is. But he had to go back. My brethren, man, many times, oh, actually, most of the time, man has to go back in order to see Jesus. Sometimes man has sunk into problems, involved with so many things. And this is the moment in which you realize that Jesus is no longer present. Then you you say, I need to go back. I need to go back to Jerusalem. I need to go back to the temple. And Jesus was there. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This Jesus, this amazing Jesus, that when you feel His presence, you feel secure. From that moment forward, you feel that your walk is a, a different walk. You have trials. Yes. You have difficulties. Yes. But Jesus said, in the world you will have afflictions. But be a good cheer, be of good cheer, because I have overcome the world. And Jesus grew up there in the temple, and he answered to his father and mother. He said, it is important for me to take care of the things of my father. That was the answer that he gave to his parents. And he kept growing, and in 30 years, when he was around 30 years, then he begins his ministry, officially. He was baptized by, on the waters by John the Baptist. John the, ba John the Baptist didn't even want to baptize him. He said, I'm not, I'm unworthy. Or even uh, untie your sandals. And Jesus answered, John the Baptist, he was, a, John the Baptist was a cousin of Jesus. He was the son of Mary, Isabel. And Jesus was the son of Mary. And then Jesus said to John, John, baptize me because he came here to fulfill this project and inside of this project is, is this moment here in which you will baptize me in the waters and John the Baptist baptized him in the waters and the dove came down from heaven to typify the Holy Spirit and Jesus there he went to the desert to go through a trial, to be tested, and there he was tested, and then, then his ministry begins with healings, with with message on uh, the, the sermons on the mountain. But there, there is a moment in which Jesus stops there with his disciples and he says 
Look. Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? He wanted to know what man there, what man understood about Jesus' person there. If he was just a, a, a mystic healer, or, or if he was not a mercenary because he, Jesus never asked for money. But if he was a prophet, or if he was Elijah, so Jesus wanted to know what was the definition that the multitude, the, the idea that the multitude had about him. And then the disciples answered, some say that you are Elijah, and others say that you are Jeremiah, and others also say that you are a prophet that rose up. And Jesus receiving from the disciples this description, this report, he answers, he actually asks, and how about you? You who are close to me, that follow me in this ministry, and you are seeing God operating, healing, delivering, saving. How about you? Who do you say that I am? Bartholomew, the blind, on the path, on the way the crowd was saying, Jesus from Nazareth is coming. But when Jesus came close to Bartholomew, the blind man, Bartholomew said, shouted, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. He knew that Jesus was not the Jesus from Nazareth, but he was Jesus, the son of David. He was a Jesus. He was not a historical Jesus that the world um, displayed to us. But, uh, historical Jesus, a Jesus even a few uh, the, uh, painters, they create there that image, this beautiful image of Jesus. But the word says that Jesus, he was like a, he was like a root of a, a dry land, had no ap good appearance or beauty. The beauty of Jesus was in another aspect, because he was a man that suffered He was a man that had no place to lay his head on and sleep. He said, the birds have their nests, the fox, they have their den, but the Son of Man doesn't have a place to rest his head. Because he worked incessantly on behalf of your and my life went to death, and he died a death of cross, taking upon himself the curse that brings peace to us. He took it upon him. He took it upon him, our sins. But you, who do you say that I am? A just a common man? A prophet? A man that you celebrate just once a year and even distort uh, the meaning of uh, this birthday? And you, who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered, answered and said, 
You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Peter was there. He was inside of, of God's uh, Holy, uh, revelation of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. My brethren, we are living the last moments. We are not The desire of the church is not to not to discourage the youth. Oh, then I'm not going to go to school anymore. I'm not going to do this or that. I'm not going to think about marriage or future. Because Jesus is going to return. No, that's not the objective of the church. The revelation is that you just need to be prepared at any moment. Paul said, we live today like Jesus, like if Jesus was going to return tomorrow. But we should not just give up on doing things. But we will live being vigilant. Amen. And Jesus answering said, blessed are you. You are a blessed one. Sometimes the Christian, the anguish may take a hold of your heart. The uncertainty may take a hold of your heart. But know of one thing. You, we are blessed because we have, we have Jesus beside us. We are happy. We are blessed because we have our name written in the book of life. We're not just blessed because we have a, a car, brand new car, or we're not happy just because we're successful professionally. There's nothing wrong about being successful, but our greatest joy is because one day Jesus was born in our hearts. The Son of the Living God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you, who do you say that I am? May God bless us. Let's sing a song.
Glória a Jesus. Oito Jesus. The same Jesus. He will return to take his church for the ones who are being prepared, for the ones who are recognizing him as the Son of God. Because the one who revealed Peter was not flesh or blood, but was the Father who is in heaven. Who has revealed Jesus to us was our wonderful Father. That's why we are happy. We are blessed. The church may stand up. We're going to have a glorification to the name of our God because one day He remember, He remembered us and saved us. He redeemed us of our sins. Well, I want to praise you for this Jesus that has been revealed. Today we are in this world of direction. Because we are not in this world without direction. We glorify the Lord. For your great love towards us. We praise you because we have not lacked anything, Lord. We thank you for this Jesus that's being revealed in our hearts. We thank you, Lord. We praise you because our strength does not come from man, Lord. It comes from you, Lord. With you, we're strong, Lord, even though we are weak, Lord. We praise you for everything in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise your name. We give you thanks, Father, for your love. Has been able to reach us. For your mercy. That brought, a, that brought life to us. We praise you, Lord, because you are God. That has you have had mercy to the ones that come to your feet, Lord. Now we ask you, Lord, that you continue with us throughout this week, giving us deliverances, giving us the joy of every day to be in your presence, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Our servant has come to its end. If by any chance you does still desire a prayer or a clarification? Remain where you are. Is there any announcement? No. And to all the peace of the Lord.